Yes. The beats that's been sold, yeah? Lovely, thank you God. New artist sending me something to mix. Okay, new artist with, yo bro, taking this on a lot house in this big house, yeah man, definitely, ooh, another new mix to do as well, oh, it's a good day, it's a definite good day. Toner, turn the mic on that. Okay, finally arrived. Mic from Toner. Let's see what this is about. Let's unbox and then do some testing, see how good this mic is. I'm liking the packaging straight away from the off. I like plain and simple things. I think the cardboard feel definitely works. Just plain and simple, it doesn't have to be fancy. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. So today's video is a review on the mic that I got sent from Toner. Not sure what it sounds like. It's a budget mic coming in at a low cost, but that doesn't mean it's not going to sound good, which is what we're going to find out in this video. Not looking to replace my mic, but it'd be good to have an alternative for some of the artists that I work with. So I'm going to set it up, record an artist, record myself talking and see how good the quality is. But first, before I do that, I need to shout out my two newest subscribers and my favourite comment for the week. So shout out Judith Blakey and Still Wiz. Thank you both for subscribing, I appreciate you both. Hope you've hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I pop a new video. Favourite comment for this week is coming from Conrado Pera. Bro, appreciate you. Nice to know that my videos are reaching all the way to Brazil. That's crazy, but I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, love to Brazil. Okay, enough of that. Let's jump into this video. See what this mic's saying. set up the boom arm and first thoughts this mic here it feels solid it feels really good quality like really heavy where the XLR cable goes in it's got a branding on there got it on the boom arm as well so that's a nice touch nice finish to it black and gold always looks good together I've used the cable that they sent me because cables do make a difference when you're recording or when you're using microphones or certain pieces of equipment. I always think it's good for an artist to have like a little setup so they can get their ideas down um, when inspiration takes them. Phantom for blah, blah, blah. You're gonna need phantom power for this mic. So you're gonna need an audio interface that has 48 volts phantom power so you can get the mic to work. So if you go into the website, it's got all the specifications telling you what's what, telling you the cardioid pattern. Cardioid meaning gonna be picked up from in front of the microphone, uh, maybe a little bit around the sides, the majority of the sound is going to be picked up from the front of the mic. The best sound you're going to get from it. How good it sounds, I don't know. That's what we're going to test that. From the off though, I like I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I like the black finish. Yeah, I like the black finish. I like all the, the stuff it comes with. The cable, the, the boom arm. Um, what else you got? Shock man. Um, you've got the uh, pop shield as well. You've got two pop shields. You've got a pop shield that you can put on the actual mic. I feel I wouldn't do that in the studio. If I was recording an artist, um, but the pop shield would definitely come in handy. It's, it's a dual one as well, it's got two pieces of mesh on it, which is good. We like that. Pick up them plosives, some cable ties as well, so you, you don't have to have trailing wires all over. Yeah, let's see how it sounds. So we've plugged the mic in. I'm about six inches away from the mic, and you can definitely tell the difference between the quality of this mic and the 
camera microphone that I was using earlier. Straight away, yeah, I like how it sounds. I like how it makes my voice sound. But you, you're definitely going to need to use the pop shield because it's quite plosive. Picks up the, the P's and the B's and stuff. So, And this is with the pop shield. So it's uh, talking at normal level, normal voice level, uh, doing my videos. Like I said, six inches away from the mic, which is where you want to be. Coming back about, about a foot, you start to, to get more of the room sound that you're in. So if you're doing with recording vocals or you're doing podcasts, then you want to be about six inches, five, six inches away from the mic to get a decent recording. If you start getting too close to the mic, then you get a bit of proximity effect going on a bit of the ASMR and unless that's what you're trying to do then five six inches away from the mic and you should be cool going back to how it looks and yeah the attention to detail and how Tony have branded it branded their product it, it wouldn't look at a place next to a high-end mic obviously quality of the recording is going to sound slightly different which is expected for the price that you're paying. So if you're just starting off getting some equipment in your studio or you're doing gaming or podcasts, then yeah, I would recommend using this microphone. If you're using it to record vocals to send off to a mix engineer, then they're gonna have to do a bit of tweaking, depending on your vocal, but they might have to do a bit of EQing and just to get the right sound. Right now, the recording hasn't got any, there's no processing going on and it sounds good. I like it. The direction of the mic that we're recording at the moment, obviously is just face on. So when you come to the side, you're going to lose a bit of sound. And if I come to this side, you're going to lose a bit of sound. Picks up a bit of sound from behind as well. It will slightly pick up some sound, which is expected because it's a cardioid pattern mic. But like I said, at the price point that is coming in, the amount of stuff that you get with it, the, the boom arm, which I'm definitely going to use because there's been times when I'm recording videos and I'm trying to use a standard and it's just not happening. So this here will definitely be getting used a lot more because it's, it does the job. It, it does what I need it to do. And it's sturdy. It's built well. I like all the bells and whistles. Yeah, it's a nice little product. I'm actually impressed by the toner mic. It's better than I expected. I didn't expect it to sound that good. I've reviewed mics in the past in a similar budget and it's been nowhere near as good sounding as the toner mic. So yeah, I highly recommend that if you're gaming, if you're doing podcasts, if you're a recording artist and you're just starting out and you're on a budget and you want a decent mic with a nice little kit. You've got the boom arm, the pop shields, two pop shields good quality mic sturdy yeah then i would highly recommend it don't forget you're going to need phantom power so if you haven't got all the interface or some kind of device that can give you 48 volts of phantom power then you're going to need to invest in that as well if there's any questions at all feel free to hit me up on insta i'm always always happy to help dms are always open or just drop a comment below if you find that easier or you're not on insta if you like this video at all hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual, I appreciate your time. Oh, my ears.